Postway has partnered with Parallels to offer application packaging standard integration of its FlexCloud server public cloud hosting suite. The APS package is targeted for providers that use Parallels automation and want to sell Hostway infrastructure as a service public cloud hosting suite to their customers and resellers. The APS package allows for seamless turnkey integration within a provider's existing services offered through the Parallels automation platform. Providers and their resellers can bundle FlexCloud with other services to provide on-demand, pay-as-you-go computing resources. FlexCloud includes advanced features such as user configurable firewalls and load balancing, IP address management, image cloning and snapshots, managed backup, and other enterprise class capabilities. This quick intro will show how simple it is to start using the FlexCloud Server Public Cloud Suite once the APS package has been downloaded and configured in Parallels Automation. I will first log into the Parallels Automation 5.4 in the APS Standard Sandbox environment. This is the Parallels Operations Automation screen, or POA, and it's where you import and install the FlexCloud Server APS package and set up the necessary service plans. For this intro, we have already imported the package, and it can be found in the Services Director under Applications Manager and then in the list of applications. This takes a moment to load, so I'll pause. Once it's done loading, Postway's package is one of many that are in, already installed in this development environment. You can find Hostway's package by browsing to the end of the list and then searching for it on one of the pages near the end, or you can enter a search for the package in the search interface. So here we have the already installed Hostway public cloud package. So here you can see that the Hostway public cloud package has already been installed. The installation process involves loading the applications page. And on the applications page, there is a button called import package near the top of the interface. So you click on that and then you're expected to enter the URL or the file name of a zip file that contains the package. This package is actually acquired from a website called APSstandard.org. This site contains a list of all of the packages that are available to install. Postways hasn't been in, installed in production at this moment, but basically the process involves downloading the zip file and saving it as a file on your computer. And then you go back to the Parallels Automation Import Package page and you uh, select that file and then uh, install it. So we'll go back to our installed Hostway package and then the next step that we'll show is how to configure this package. So we'll start by clicking on the billing link at the top right of the interface. And this is where we're going to be able to install, or rather configure the service plans and sales categories and then publish the new plan containing the FlexCloud package to the storefront. Our plan can be found under the product director plan manager and on the service plans link. And again since this is a shared demo environment there are quite a few service plans that have already been installed and indeed we did already install the uh, Hostway service plan previously. The process to uh, add a new service plan uh, from scratch involves clicking on the Add New Service Plan button and then finding in the uh, interface the package that you uh, want to install for that service plan. So we won't step through the process uh, in this demo, uh, but it's basically where you just follow a wizard uh, to Go, uh, go ahead and set up the, the service plan. 
So as you step through the plan setup, this is where you're going to specify billing information, such as billing period details, if the plan can be auto-renewed or not, uh, and things like that. So once the plan is set up, you can find it under the service plans uh, link. So now our plan is installed and we can then go ahead and, and edit any of the details about the plan. Um, and once the plan is ready to publish, then you're going to use the online store manager. You're going to click on the synchronize settings link and then click on the synchronize button to publish the plan to the online store. So once the synchronization button has been clicked, the new service plan is going to be available on the uh, storefront. So let's have a look now at the actual store. Here are all of the plans that are available for your customers to subscribe to. Let's add Hostway IIS Public Cloud to our cart. If the customer already has an account with you, then they can log in using their existing account credentials, or they can create a new account. So let's go ahead and create a new account. So I'll fill out the form, but I will pause it to just get past this. So I've entered the information, and I will agree to our terms and conditions, and then place the order for FlexCloud. So now, a new user has just signed up a new account and has ordered FlexCloud, and the next step will be to activate the service by logging into the control panel. The customer should by now have received the email telling them that their account has now been set up, and then the next step will be to proceed to the, uh, the login page which I will do here. Now I'm logged in as a customer and I'm going to want to uh, activate the Hostway FlexCloud product. Uh, in this case, for this demo, the um, user needs to enter some additional information. This won't actually happen uh, in the final version of the product. They will just be able to click a confirmation button to, to activate the product. So I'll just go ahead and enter this form. And there's an additional confirmation step before the product is sent to provisioning. Now the customer has submitted the order and it will be sent to provisioning at Hostway. Click the general link for the package to see its provisioning status. Provisioning can take several minutes for the account to be ready. But once the account is in the ready status, the customer will see the login link below. Here you can click and auto login to the Hostway FlexCloud server management console and start deploying cloud resources. When you log into the Flex Cloud Management Console, you are taken to your cloud dashboard. You will see your Hostway account ID at the top. This is your unique account subscription name with Hostway. On the left hand side, you will see the navigation menu. Zone refers to the data center where your cloud instances and resources are provisioned. You can choose between our geo dispersed clouds located in Tampa, Austin, and Vancouver data centers. The Manage Resources section shows a quick summary of all your provision cloud resources for the zone you have currently selected. The summary shows the number of server instances, volumes, IP addresses, firewall groups, and load balancers that you have provisioned. Once you click on one of these links, you will be taken to the relevant section 
where you will be able to manage that cloud resource. On the main dashboard, there is a link to our help documentation that describes the features and functions available in the management console that will help you become familiar with the terminology and get you started. Let's go ahead and set up a server instance. A server instance is a cloud server that will be set up on the Hostway public cloud infrastructure. The setup wizard will walk you through the required steps. To set up a server instance, you will be first asked to select what operating system image you would like. The Hostway Server Images tab lists all of the operating system images Hostway provides. You will notice some of the images have pre-installed applications such, such as Parallels, Plesk Panel, Microsoft SQL Server and more. These applications are pre-configured on the image and automatically get installed on the server. We offer a number of Windows and Linux based operating systems such as Ubuntu, Red Hat, and CentOS. The Your Server Images tab lists the custom images that you have taken of your server instances. A custom image would contain your applications, libraries, data, and associated configuration settings and can be used to deploy any number of new server instances you wish. You have the option to make your custom images private or public. A private image would only be made available to you, and a public image would be made available to all users of Hostway Flex Cloud Server. The Public Server Images tab lists the images that other Flex Cloud users have made publicly available for all to view and use. Let's go ahead and pick CentOS for our server image and click Next. The next step asks you to select the server instance type you would like. A server instance type defines the hardware configuration for your server. The hardware configuration specifies CPU, memory, and disk space. You can customize any of the hardware configuration options to fit your needs. Let's go ahead and keep the default options and click Next. The next step asks you to select the firewall group you would like. A firewall group defines firewall rules for your server instances. You have the ability to configure your firewall connections and secure your network as required. You may have one or multiple server instances behind a firewall group. Hostway provides a default firewall group and typical firewall rules are already configured. You can create multiple firewall groups as needed. Let's go ahead and select the default firewall group and click Next. The last step in the wizard asks you to name your server instance and put in a description if you would like. Let's go ahead and name this test demo test 1. Server instances normally take between 15 to 20 minutes to create, so you can optionally enter your email address to be notified when the server setup is complete. You will now be taken to the main server instances section of the management console. You can also use the navigation menu and click on server instances to get to this server instances section. Here you can see the server instance that we just created and that it's in a creating status. Once setup is complete, the server appears in the list in a running status. The instance can be managed by clicking on the server name in the list. The details of managing servers will be covered in another video.